here we are. We three queens. I'm Micheline. I'm Musonda. And I'm Achieng. And we have a guest with us today, and we're so excited about her. Hi, I'm Lulu Kitololo. Lulu Karibu Sana. Asante ni. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, um, as we were sitting here preparing for this, <laughs> I just tried to sift through um, to try to focus on really the things <laughs> that make Lulu so special um, as, as a person, <laughs> as a creative <laughs> professional, as one of ours in the midst here in Kenya and as an African woman, a global woman, so many things. When I look at, Lu and, and the brand name, by the way, is Lulu Kitololo Studio. Mm -hmm. So when I look at this, mm -hmm. right, I see uh, perhaps a brand that aims to, to, to create um, an infusion of Afrocentric, uh, uh, let's say, <laughs> art through its crafts. But now I'm just saying that because I want her to correct me. That's how I see, you know, your brand. Facebook commissioned you to do something related to profiling, um, I think, African women. Yes. So can you tell us a bit about that and how they found you and what that actual curation was about? Sure, sure, sure. Happy to share. So Facebook Africa, mm -hmm. um, put out a book mm -hmm. in honor of International mm -hmm. Women's Day, mm -hmm. nice. and it's called Leaders, mm -hmm. Lessons, Life Lessons okay. from African Women. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So Ooh. it features the stories of 19 African women from across the continent who are inspiring and influential in their very different fields. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wonderful. So they commissioned an illustrator from each of the different regions yes. to um, portray the women from their region. So yes, so wow. I had the honor. Wow, <laughs> honestly, because I saw, I mean, I, we clearly need the book, right? Yes. And I thumbed through a few things on IG, looks phenomenal. So they found you, obviously, because you're wonderful. Thank you. But did they? <laughs> so I've done some work with, with Facebook in the past. Okay, um, got it. And so I think through their Facebook network, okay. um, they heard about my work and they invited wonderful. me to mm -hmm. um, do some illustrations Isn't for the book. That, that's yes. just that's incredible amazing. because Thank the you. work, and we'll get into the specifics <laughs> of it, is truly uh, just aesthetically beautiful, but also layered. I think there's stories within yeah. stories within <coughs> stories. stories absolutely. Right? <laughs> Ladies, dig in. I'm seeing so you. I'm already <laughs> learning, you know me and my burning <laughs> questions. <laughs> so like, okay, first of all, I, I'm such a great admirer of people in the creative Creators. economy. And I honestly believe the create, creative economy is going to be what's going to drive our African economy because there's all these young, yeah. talented people like yourself just coming out there and doing really original things. So what inspired the African, because you mentioned um, in a previous chat or earlier on that you've done graphic design. Yes. What inspired you to mm. then go into this Afrocentric space Incredible. and actually go into storytelling? Like what was that? Was there something right. that triggered that? Right, so, yeah. so um, I, like uh, there's a word that you use often, mm -hmm. multilicious, I think yes. it is. <laughs> Multilicious. <laughs> okay, calm down. <laughs> it's great. It's great. You know, I resonate with that so strongly. So, you know, I've always been dif interested in, in so many different things. Mm. So, um, my undergraduate studies were in um, art, design, um, advertising. Okay, wonderful. And and you know, I went to study in the U.S. and it's it's ironic or, or sad also, mm -hmm. um, but you know, while there, I became really interested in our continent. You know, mm -hmm. I was meeting people from all over the continent, mm -hmm. and hearing their stories, hearing, learning their culture, and. Mm that curiosity just grew and grew and I started taking all these courses in different aspects of mm -hmm. African history, mm -hmm. um, film, Fantastic. Um, literature, oh my all wow. of these things. Wow. And the more I learned, I was like, more people need to know these things, especially yeah. us Africans, yeah, exactly. right? Yeah, exactly. <sighs> I think when we're here, you know, you know about your yes. immediate... Sometimes you think we know everything. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right. Yeah. exactly. The truth is we don't. And the truth is that our education here, you know, at least through high school, does not go into, you know, the, the kingdom of, you know, I don't know, the, the Beninois, you know, Queens or the Timbuktu or the... I mean, did you know all of this at 15? I, I didn't, no. you know, it's later. No. Right. right. 
yeah. we learned about, I don't know, uh, Louis XIV and I don't know, King right. Richard, <laughs> right? right? She and then maybe in New Zealand. one or two, <laughs> she you know, <laughs> present heroes, like yeah. at the time Mandela's and so on, but it wasn't yeah. the full Pan-African yeah. kind right. of, you know, orientation we, we should really have had. Yeah. Exactly. And you know, mm. it's actually quite sad. Um, I, so um, after, afterwards, I went to study uh, an African studies degree, a uh, master's, and um, I had comments from people back home like, but you're African, what? Yeah. And, you know, so I think, yes, there's this uh, thing that, you know, there's, there's no knowledge, mm. you know, that we don't produce right. things worthy of, of, of study. Mm. Like, it's just, you know, yeah. we are what we are. So, yeah. so, you know, in my work, part of, part of it is, is digging out these interesting stories from all over our continent and presenting them in a very accessible way, yeah. you know, you know, on the on the face of this, it's a, a beautiful image. Yes. But if you're curious, look, ladies, there's so much here. If you're curious, there's something you can learn from it. Um, there's something you can learn about. There's a yeah. story behind everything. Yes. And so, um, yeah, that's 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 oh something that is a big driver. For Let the me things. take you up on that okay. <laughs> idea of a story. Okay. You see this lovely card, and it says hand drawn. Um, and made with love. First of all, the quality. Thank you. This is this is this is phenomenal. The, the cardstock. I would love you to tell me what the story is here, if you happen sure. to know. And it. tell sure. our audience as well. Yeah, sure. what's the story? Oh, yes. Yeah, show them um, the picture so they can see what what it is. So, so yeah. the cards that we have in front of us are part of a collection. Um, it's it's a Swahili collection. Mm -hmm. So, inspired nice. by culture from the Swahili people, so all across the East African coast. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this and is super. I just, you know, I've oh. always been interested by Swahili culture, but I was like, okay, let me actually intentionally dig into it. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So um, like this woman here, um, she's adorned in all these beautiful accessories. Mm. And this is from, an, it was inspired by a photograph from the late 18th century. Um, and there are tons of these photos you can find, and it's so 18th. interesting. 18th century, yes. Wow. Look at her, she's a little kadoodi thing on her yes. hair. <laughs> yes. Yes. Little, three little pointy yes. hands, so we could oh, see amazing. how maybe their hairstyles were. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, you have to have yeah, a look. Amazing. Do you know how like, I just crave, you know, and you had a necklace like this, Musonda, you haven't worn yes, it. Yes, I did. Yeah. 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 See, look. So it's so the interesting to see, yes. and even the ear stretching, you know, yes. like we, we associate that with Maasai or, you know, but it's so interesting to see wow. how these things have been happening yes. in different places over different time. Different cultures, yeah. yeah. Mm. So, um, so, so just different. So for instance, um, this design, it's, mm -hmm. it's a kanga, which is um, a traditional um, fabric from the Swahili culture, but the motifs are flowers. Mm. Um, inspired by aromatic. Um, so, you know, we have patchouli, mm. we have wow. um, ylang lang. How do you say my two most favorite scents? Are you serious? Oh my <laughs> so, so traditionally, Swahili women have been using those oh, for centuries amazing. to wow. make themselves smell good and, you know, to create wow. essential. Exactly, mm. exactly. And so um, <laughs> this is, you know, an aroma inspired. I, I want to hear about the combs, because wow. I thought it was West African combs. Right. So that's another thing, like we, we associate certain things with certain parts of the continent when really yeah. there was so mm. much happening everywhere. So yeah, yes. these are all Swahili, wow. um, old, really old Swahili that's combs. That's incredible. And I can imagine, yeah. I mean, there's so much history, right? Yeah. The coast is particularly important as yeah. part of the ex-Oman Empire, well, some yeah. of it, but also the infusion, mm. right, with a lot of the Portuguese traders, and right. also when the right. Indians came. I mean, there was, there's probably so much, maybe yeah. a bit later in history, right. but a lot that yeah. we can pick from. Yes. Oh my goodness, you know, I you know what go, I'm, go, go. I'm wondering, because, <laughs> you know, when I look back, I would love one day for my grandchildren, I'm not having any soon, but <laughs> <laughs> one day, <laughs> when I'm a grandma, <laughs> so I would love mm -hmm. for them to know their history. And what, the question that's running through my mind is, how can you get these stories through these images into schools? Like, are you talking right. to any schools? Because I think kids would love to hear about yeah. this. And wouldn't it be so enriching for them to learn what we didn't have the benefit of learning? Right. Because our school system, or our, our, our curriculum right yeah. was so yeah. 
so steeped in Western history yes. and not necessarily in our, in our African history. I yes. know it's in question. Yeah. 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 Like, are you doing anything with schools I'm, I'm not or kids? Doing, I'm not doing anything with um, schools. Yeah. With kids, um, I have in the past created coloring books. Mm -hmm. And coloring nice. sheets, I think. Um, yes, I yes, because yes, I got some. Yes, yeah. I did. I remember. Oh, nice. So, so that's yeah. in the plans to do Good. more coloring books yeah. and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. that, I think that would be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you mm -hmm. know? And I think uh, who knows when different opportunities, you know, would arise. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you guys remember, I know we had this in Kenya, but every country, every African country has this. Those exercise books, right? The notebooks you have when you're yeah. in primary school. Yeah. yeah. And then even just the branding on the back mm -hmm. was usually was it like the mathematical times table yes. or something? Yeah, or yeah, a yeah. bird. Or a, yes. Yeah, there was yes. a bird, yeah. Kasuku. Yeah. There was yes. a Kasuku. The bird, I mean. <gasps> so, yeah. and this Kasuku is pirate, right? Yeah. But wouldn't it be nice if that were on the back of, you know, if we can't get the stuff in textbooks, mm. even just I, an I, image in that a, with, a story, with, with a, a story. With a story. There's an idea. There's a, there's a business idea yes. for you. So, mm -hmm. yeah. full of ideas. Yes, I, mean, I love we, it. I love it. Appreciate the creativity. I want to hear about these. Do you want to hear about a specific one? Um, I'm curious about the cards here. She's okay. got these cards that, you know, because I saw the picture of the, 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 the woman from South America, because I recognized it when I was in, in, in Peru, in the Andes, mm -hmm. the indigenous women, and they have these long braids, and I have a yes. big painting in my house. Oh, so I'm very curious to hear about the, the sure. selection of cards oh, nice. here. Mm. Sure. Um, so I call that a collection um, my vintage ladies. Mm. And again, they're inspired by um, old photographs, you know, old black and white photographs from the late uh, 18th century. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, just Incredible. really celebrating. So there's a Malagasy woman. Yeah. The orange one. Yeah, yes, let's see. That's, that's her. Yeah, that's a Malagasy you know, woman. Yes. Madagascar is dear to my heart. It's my first professional job ever so gotcha. yeah 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 i love madagascar Manaona. Yes. for any malagasy people that means hello <laughs> so yes so so that's her the yes. fierce lady wow. um and i'm i'm just very interested in our as women around the world our cultures of adornment and yes. so that's really featured in the series and in a lot of my other work just how do we adorn ourselves that's this so is nice. incredible can we see the others most of the sure. 1898 so this malagasy woman mm -hmm. amazing and so, so this yeah. is an afro-brazilian woman really oh. i could have even thought maybe mm. west african like it's because so interesting how there's such an overlap mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and really why yeah. would you wow. think she was an afro-brazilian Afro why did she see the Africa in the Brazilian woman? Because of course, it's, uh, it's all the that, color, the fabric, the, the yeah, the colors. Yeah. You know, yeah. because Africa is so colorful. Oh, like, so look at what true. you're wearing is beautiful, beautiful and colorful. Mm -hmm. So that's what made me think of an African woman, yes. a West African yes, she woman. Is. Right. She is. The Yoruba. Yeah. The yeah. And then this one is but a other Lakota. West Africans, right? Yeah. Uh huh. Lakota woman. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. Tell us about her. Um, yes, so again, uh, the same, just Seven looking Africa? through those old photographs mm -hmm. um, and just wow. interested in, in the, the intricacy of her, her wear, you know. And, and, you know, there are black and white fo photographs, so of course I've made up the colors, but, yeah. um, mm. you know, just to enhance all the intricacies. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Do you know what? I am going to just ask one of those crazy, like, <laughs> auntie, uncle <laughs> oh, oh, questions. Oh. <laughs> Should we hide? Uh -huh. no, auntie, you know, do you know where I'm going with this? Because I Good. love what you said about creativity, and we really need to encourage that more, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, what people study, right? Yeah. And what they do professionally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you make a salary from this? Yes, I run a business. From See this. how I threw that <laughs> in. Good one. But that's a really good question. Yes. Because sometimes people think you, you, you're, you're a starving artist. You know that, yeah. that kind of stereotype around being an artist of means course. you're a starving. It's, it's great to hear that you're, you're running a business. I'm running a business and I employ people. Oh, and, wow. Um, and you know, mm. it's interesting you say that because yeah. when I was growing up, many years ago yeah. Um, yeah we didn't see creatives mm -hmm. making a living from yeah. what they were doing yeah. Yeah. like you know we didn't at yeah. all yeah. and and even the the kind of scope of creative possibilities mm -hmm. yeah i didn't realize until i left the country that oh you can make a living being a makeup artist or exactly. a fashion stylist oh, exactly. and i think it's right. different now yeah like, so i'm so happy for young people now yeah. i think they have more examples exactly here exactly. right um but yeah. when i was growing up i didn't yeah. right um and so a big thing that i'm I, I do in my work is advocate for that so for nice. instance you know I, I have a course that teaches people how to like 
run a business from your creativity. Oh, oh wow. wow. That course? Like, it's where? online. It's, it's okay, online. so okay. where can people find it? Because I bet there's a hundred, a thousand young people out so there So what now. we sure. should do yeah. is write, what is it called? And yes. we make sure it's written. Oh, the banner. Yes. 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 The, the banner, name of the yeah. course? Yes. As Which well as, free of course, to create. Free to create. Free, free to, to create. create. Yes. Lovely. And of course, we've said the entire brand is under Lulu Kitololo Studio. Yes. And we'll make sure we include Thank your IG you. and everything. Yeah. This is spectacular. It's like, That's and I said yes. it was an auntie uncle kind of question <laughs> because it's true it was a good of that question. generation, but yeah. also yeah. kind of of ours where people yeah. are like, you know, this is art. Yeah. And you said something that I'm going to take away from you. Okay. Which <laughs> I feel strongly about this. She said she dabbles, and maybe you dabble in other things. This is not dabbling. This is a master's in, in, in African studies. Thank yes. you very much. This is a yeah. degree in, yes. you mentioned advertising and um, communication, communication in history. Design. This, is, this, is, this is years of work experience. This is yes. more than a decade of experience you know? with, with the masters. You know how we love our masters. <laughs> yes. So, you know, so, um, yeah. you know, there's a certain seriousness to it. This is yeah. history. This is anthropology. This is art. This is our continent. This mm. is who we are. Who we are. This yeah. is Mount delicious yeah. as it were. 1800s. Yes. And yeah. this is a woman carving you know, yeah. basically yeah. Um, a lot of passion as well as skill yeah. in a business yes. and teaching others how exactly. to do so. Exactly. Yeah. I love that you shared that example about making a business out of this. Because, yeah. you know, a lot of people think they do a bit of this and a bit of that and yeah. they think I can't possibly make a living. Mm. Yeah. I love that you have a course and I love that you're proudly owning mm -hmm. that you're earning a decent living out of this. Because mm -hmm. there's Absolutely. lots of people out there who don't realize they can. And you know you 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 know you're somebody a role model who can yeah. teach a lot of and us. and teaching others. I yes. mean the fact that she has this free you know I mean it's not free obviously people yes. have to pay. <laughs> yes. You know this this online course Absolutely. that they can train Jesus. on and yeah. and that for me is just amazing because yeah. a lot of times and I and I I don't, I don't know how you feel about sort of the, the circumstances now. You know in in this pandemic world I think people have now looked into Africa and have kind of discovered us you know as black mm. women and mm. also found us kind of mm. um and also realized that we've been busy we've yeah. been busy creating things and talking about yes. our histories and everything and i love that you have the book with the you mm. know crested crane which uh, <coughs> i've already <laughs> it's put my, my ownership book. Uganda. Different that is you Uganda, Uganda. Uganda. yes anyway, you're an I, I, I'm, I'm an honorary I'm Uganda. Uh, <laughs> got it. <laughs> and um, and so for me it's I, I want to walk into a bookstore mm. and buy your stuff yes. mm. and be happy. So are there any stores around the city that, mm. apart from, we know that you've just opened a studio. Yes. Are there yes. any stores around the city that, uh, and can you ship abroad or? Yes, yes. So mm. um, we ship worldwide and we have some stockists abroad too. Oh, wow. Um, everywhere from South Sudan. Um, yes. Stockists on the to continent. New York. So important. Oh, yes. wow. Gosh. Yes. To New York yes. as well. Yes. So oh, we're, wow. we're steadily growing our um, kind of reach of stockists. Um, yeah, but even it. in Kenya, um, we're in Nanyuki, in La Lamu, in Nairobi, in different stores. Nice. And of course, at our check, own shop. Um, this is incredible. In this yeah. is a growth stage company, yes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> incredible, yeah. honestly. Um, OK, we could go in different directions. But what I'd like to do is <laughs> ask you if yes. you have any questions for us yes and then we'll wrap up <laughs> all right um okay so i'm a really firm believer that creativity changes the world mm -hmm. yes. and in so many different ways yeah. that um maybe i won't go into but absolutely i'm does. really um interested in how creativity has made an impact in your journeys oh, oh my that's such a juicy <laughs> question what a i love it go shall i start do you want to go Go for it. So um, I'm a painter, Ooh. an abstract painter. I didn't know that. Yes. And I'm happy to show you yes. some of my stuff. <laughs> and, and for me, I, I got into that really as an outlet. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I remember as a kid, I'll doodle, I'll draw, I'll paint, I'll mix up colors. And, mm. I'll, and then I stopped it. And, mm. and now getting into a hectic job, the only moment where I find my peace and I find my moment mm. is when, and, and my children get amused by <laughs> it because they find me like on the dining table. That's what I use as my studio. Mm. And I'm doing my brush. Like yesterday, I was actually painting painting 
I, I did this abstract painting with strings that I've put in and I'm mm. painting them in gold. And my son was so happy. He's like, mommy, you know, gold is my favorite color. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so gold for is me, it's, it's, it's so a regenerative, cool. it's nice. a healing yeah. space yeah. for me. Yeah. And, and so I, I, mm. I'm trying to be purposeful and mindful not to do work at the weekend. Yeah. And that's my outlet. Yeah. I love that. I love, nice. I love nice. that. Yes. You know, let's see. I um, have mentioned this book coming out to the point where friends are like, in fact, you guys are like, First quarter is out. <laughs> We're getting our dresses for the red cap, so, girl. I oh, yeah. I love yes. stories. I read yeah. a lot. Mm. You know, like I know many of you out there, but I also write a lot and I had scribbles of, you know, it would be memoirs, but fictionized. Mm. So a lot of these stories strung along are really about, you know, belonging, you know, identity, uh, perhaps even tales of immigration. Mm. And so I have fictionized them. It's a book of short stories coming out soon. Yeah. And woo -woo. on you know, I woo -woo. just I was woo -woo. telling you I think that I will I will self publish and then hopefully, you know, publisher will take it on. But that's really where I've used my creativity. Mm. And then I will start and I love saying do, things do, because do, then do, I feel do, like do. you out there will know. You'll yes. be like, Mish, where is this? Where's the thing? <laughs> so the thing is my line of fashion. Yes! yes. We're waiting. We've been waiting. I just like oh. fashion too much. You, I, I and you're made my own thing when I was about eight mm. or nine years old, some mm. random outfit. Mm. So even if it's just like, I don't know, like handkerchiefs. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something really easy yes. like scarves. Yeah. I will yeah. have something out yeah. uh, under Maison Michou. Um, uh, uh, Michou so on on it's been said and so now obviously I have to do something. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. And for me, mm -hmm. I always, I worked in corporate for a long, long time. And sometimes in certain environments might not allow you to be so colorful and creative and over the top creative. Stay gray and but black. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah I, I always had my pink or, or a, an orange popping out of somewhere. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, because yours like... No, so she, was talking about, she was talking about the corporate world. Gray and black is yeah. pink and yeah. orange. Yeah, yeah. yeah but <laughs> well, now, thinking back just based on your question, I think my creativity was infused through everything I did, mm. like when we did, we did lots of presentations, I was in marketing, so that's kind of where you could nice. sort of go into your kind of showbiz thing. Yeah. And then I speak in a very sort of colorful, flowery way. So <laughs> that was kind of how I, you know, I used, I was creative in how I tried to express myself. Mm -hmm. And even now, I realize with the work I do, I, I run all the creative brainstorms for any client's work that we do. Mm -hmm. And that's my favorite part of the job. Mm -hmm. And even with Fantastic. strategy, you've got to be creative yeah. about how you help someone find solutions to the issue or the opportunity that Absolutely. they've identified. Absolutely. And so I love what I do because it allows me to be creative. Mm. And then of course, you know, we've got passion projects like We Three Queens of yes, Africa. Yeah. Actually one of our you know, where projects. everything yeah, it's such a creative process. We think about what to wear, we think about what we're gonna say and we think about you know yes. the whole packaging and presenting it is such yes. a creative process, yeah. you know? In the kitchen. <laughs> I loved I, I, I discovered Ooh. this love for cooking. Oh that's right. And so I'm always yes. creating yes. in the kitchen, trying yes. a bit of this and trying different recipes and yeah, so I think so many parts of my mm. life allow me to be creative and you know yeah. as and everybody has spoken including you one thing that i have observed is it's you know the way you can really express your authentic self yes. Yes. so there are people who say that they are only left brained mm. Mm. so they're more logical you know there must be actuaries or mm. mathematicians and mm. you know uh -huh. and like even within that mm. you know there yes. is a creative space and as you've yeah. spoken I've seen how people the light yeah. kind of shines from within we could go on and on yeah. mm -hmm. what I you know love is first of all we've covered I, and I was like there's stories within these stories right yeah. so we know where to find your work palette cafe actually in Nairobi mm -hmm. um, is in Lavington, is in Lavington. Yes is one of your stockists, but we'll try to list, you know, all the other places. Mm -hmm. I have one um, interesting question for you all as we leave, <laughs> which is who's your favorite, you know, either sort of living, dead, or sort of fantasy, make-believe, African woman of note? Oh, wow, for me it's women. You oh. know, yes, okay. the Dahomey warriors, the Amazons, yes. these were women in um, the kingdom of Benin. Um, actually, what we saw in the uh, Black Panther movie, they're actually mm. the story, you know, there were warriors and the yes. basically protected kings. Um, and perhaps I have a feeling that that's why, you know, the late Gaddafi was inspired to have women bodyguards mm. because, you know, we're loyal and we're powerful in ways that sometimes people 
Yeah. Underestimate us. Yes. 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 I love... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and, and there's a film coming up, I understand, between Lupita really? and Viola Davis. Fantastic. On the, da on the About Dahomey the Dahomey Amazons. Amazons. Oh. The Warriors, the That women. is such a rich story that absolutely needs to be told on a global scale. Yes. Yes. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all for the Queen of Sheba, man. Oh, I am yeah. all for the Queen mm. of Sheba. I know that the Habeshas claim her. Let's just say that she came from those parts. And the one thing that, you know, was I think in the Kings, um, you know, in the Bible, in Kings, um, but just in general, we know that she went to King Solomon. Mm -hmm. She went to Solomon, didn't she? Yes. And asked, because it was told, you know, this wise man, Solomon. Mm -hmm. And she just went and perched herself in front of him and basically was like, mm hmm so... <laughs> Show me your wisdom. Show me your wisdom. She didn't just yes. buy it. We're talking about God yeah. that was 900 or something BC, 960. She didn't just buy Amazing. it. Isn't that great? Yeah, I just, you know, when I read incredible. that, honestly, I was like, With her into heart. What? Yes. You mm. go, girl. Like I from way, way back. Yeah. Queen of Sheba. Yeah. Who's yours? Love it. So, <laughs> so mine is a, a, a mythical, she's a deity from um, the Yoruba tradition, um, Mami Water, also oh, known as Yemoja, and, and yes. in different parts of the world, so in the Caribbean and yes. South America, Yemaya. Of course. Um, she has many names, but mm. essentially she's this goddess who um, is sort of a mother figure, so, you know, nurturing and all of those things that we associate with the mother, but also very fierce. So, yes. you know, Her. I love, I love, you know, how she kind of sums up women, you know, we have profound capacity to love and nurture, but we're also really That's strong and fierce and will protect yes. wow. yeah. what is ours yeah. I love, if necessary. I love yeah. that. That's She's almost mermaid-like when, yes. when we see her drawn up. Yes. I love exactly. her. Oh, yes. fantastic. Nice. Yeah. Mine is, first of all, I love that they're all powerful, strong, and yet they're women. You know, that, that blend is so, so wonderful. So what are you doing? Taking so notes, notes on your... Uh, no, not taking notes. I just want to make sure that if anybody needs to quote me, they can quote me word for word. <laughs> so mine is... Listen. <laughs> all, all, all ears. You know, I love my phone, all right? <laughs> Cleopatra. Ooh. She was a ruler, for those who don't know. Yeah, she had younger brothers. She had a son and all of that stuff. But I think what I really love is that she was a ruler in her own right. And not only that, she was well-educated and clever. She could speak various languages, like <laughs> we can. <laughs> and she served as a dominant ruler in all three of her co-regencies. Mm. Plus, she had a supposed exotic beauty and powers of seduction that earned her an enduring place in history and oh. popular myth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who's not to what's not the to love? <laughs> what? She sounds Cleopatra. awesome. <laughs> I see some Cleopatra. sprinklings of a Cleopatra Cleopatra. all across this table, guys. The Cleopatras, <laughs> to the Mummy Waters, to oh, This Shiva. is amazing. <laughs> and all of you out there, the men and the women, this is a brand we want you all to know about. And if you, you do not remember Lulu Kitololo <laughs> Studio, you've got to at least honestly do your bit to make sure that we continue those incredible, mm -hmm. right? African stories. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you so much for coming. Thank, thank you. Thank you, for having thank you me. so much, everyone. Oh, wow. It's a wrap. Do not forget to, to subscribe. subscribe. Take care. Ta -ta. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Bye. Bye.